Also, just a little disclaimer. Um, I'm sure you guys, if you guys have checked out our store, I'm sure you guys know the UIs that we sell are currently only in PSC Photoshop format. But we are planning to add Roblox Studio imported UI. So if you are a developer and you're watching these videos, if you're interested, stay tuned, um, subscribe, join the Discord. YouTube, welcome back to the beginners roblox gfx tutorial series this right here is part five and in this one i want to explain blending modes to you guys so uh yeah first things first i want to bring in a render um if you have your own obviously that's what uh, you're gonna want to use but also since this is very early into the series obviously eventually i'm going to show you guys how to actually do Render step by step, but but I assume that's going to be pretty far to the future. So yeah, stay tuned for that. But for this video right here, I just want to briefly touch on the topic of blend modes. I'm going to bring in a render made by i5k um, right here, as you can see his watermark. So yeah, I'm just using this as an example. I didn't make this at all so you can go ahead and follow him makes amazing work as you can see first things first let's make a new layer all right so uh i'm gonna show you guys a very quick example first so i'm gonna grab the brush tool and uh i'm gonna make my color into white my opacity and flow is around 30 percent and my hardness is all the way down so i have a very soft brush and i'm just gonna paint just a very soft tap at the top and uh, right here is where your blending modes are going to be right here for each layer so here is the brush and i'm just going to click and i'm going to go down to overlay mode and as you can see this is what it does it's a very very nice effect um i don't know how <laughs> i don't know how to explain um what what it does in a technical fashion so i'm not even going to attempt but if we lower the brush we can zoom into thanos right here and we could add some additional effects to him as well so um let's go paint right here just some uh, basic highlights and increase the spacing i have right here on my brush just give it a a better uh, brush feel. All right, so right here we could very nice brushing that. There we go. And for the low armor clothing. All right, it's kind of lazy, but let's make the mode into overlay. And as you can see, this has added a lot more definition to our character. So if you cycle through these five, um, if you cycle through these uh, seven right here, um, you see how these are categorized. So overlay, soft light, hard light, adjust these as you want. Now let's go over to some other ones. Here's how you can make some basic, basic glows using your brush tool. You see the little green um, part of his glove. If we go select a green color, all right. We're just going to paint the same way. Right here we can lower the brush size and increase that. So right here, this is how it looks on normal. If you lower the opacity, I mean, it's cool, but it doesn't really look like it's glowing. Right, so if you change the mode into screen, right, now you can see the now you can see the difference. And you can copy this, so using the shortcut control J, that is the shortcut to duplicate a layer. Um obviously you can, obviously you could just right click and go duplicate, but using a shortcut will make things a lot faster. So we're gonna copy and let's turn this one into overlay. Put this one below 
and as you can see now we have some more now we have more of a proper glow and just for a finishing touch you can add a new layer your brush tool you want to make your color white so we're going to click on this uh, box to reset our colors and hit the arrow to switch these two we're going to zoom in and i'm just going to use white and paint on the main part right here let's change the mode into overlay and now as you can see this brings out this entire uh, gem the stone so that's how you can use blending modes to make uh, easy glows um, you can use it to uh, add lighting shadows effects obviously we're gonna go more in depth in the future as to you know what each mode can be used for in different situations but this is only part five this is very very early on to uh this series so i hope you guys enjoyed this one make sure to leave a like check out our store also just a little disclaimer um i'm sure you guys if you guys have checked out our store i'm sure you guys know the uis that we sell are currently only in psc photoshop format but we are planning to add Roblox Studio imported UI. So if you are a developer and you're watching these videos, if you're interested, stay tuned, um, subscribe, join the Discord. And uh, yeah, with that being said, I'm going to see you guys in the next video.